How's it going all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar with Miss Lydia and today we're gonna be looking at the Udon's Art of Capcom hardcovers that have just come back to print so stay tuned Thank you to everybody at Udon for sending us the new printings of these books That's right. These are new printings these books when they go out of print they get impossible to find they get really expensive and they are back and they are back in hardcover format so this i believe is the third printing of these books uh, second printing for volume three in here you're going to see a variety of different capcom games whether they're fighting games beat em ups or rpgs that's right rpgs as a matter of fact you probably see an array of different type of games you have mega man what else do you see here miss lydia dark stalkers street fighter Rival Schools, Final Fight. Ooh, good eye. Yes, that's right. Uh, you see things like Beautiful Joe down there. And characters, not just from like Street Fighter 2, the popular characters, but also Street Fighter 5. You see, oh my gosh, Cyberbots characters. So we're not going to go through each page. I promise that would be awesome if we did. We're going to highlight the books, the build of them, and talk about some of the art. But first, let's check them out like this. These are the covers. So on the covers, obviously you have the title. You can tell which one is volume two, three, and then one. Um, these are hard covers. There's no dust jackets, and there's also the Udon label on each of them. That's right. So no DJs. Let's look at. So these are spines. Here's the Udon logo. Of course, Udon's Art of Capcom. One, two, three. And you have different characters like Tiffany from Rival Schools, Jury from Street Fighter Four, and then Mega Man. Man, that's real. I'm. First of all, I'm impressed, kiddo. Uh, that is Tiffany from Rival Schools. That's the one that I thought you would have problems with. I knew Jury, you know, she's been in the comics before, in the Udon Street Fighter comics, and I know you have a huge fascination with Cap uh, Capcom's Mega Man, or Rock Man, I guess, as he's known at it's in... Japan. Japan! So these are the backs. Uh, volume 1 has Street Fighter, Volume 2 has Darkstalkers, and then Volume 3 just sort of has an array of, like, different series and characters. That's right. You have Power Stone and Star Gladiator. Again, Cyberbots represent. I love it. And I kind of wish, of course, like, we had one ongoing image. Like, this is an image here by Alvin Lee, I believe. Alvin Lee, and then I believe that's Jeffrey Chambra, if I'm not mistaken. Each one of these books retails for $49.99, and this exactly tells you what it is. Video games, art book. These aren't comics. These aren't collection of comics. They are just art books and beautiful art books at that. So you probably notice that they all have a flat spine, but we'll take a closer look at the binding here in a little bit. We'll crack each book open and talk just a little bit about some of the art that we like through here. All right, we're going to crack this book open. We have some white end paper there. Udon's Art of Capcom, featuring some Street Fighter characters, Darkstalker characters, Mega Man, that is right. There is a forward here from the design team department, the chief of operations, a little bit of the table of contents where you're going to find each of these particular titles. It does focus heavily on one particular franchise, don't you think? Look at that. I love that. I could well, use more of that. Too. It's like Street Fighter and Darkstalker. Here's the contributing artist. Yeah, there's a, there's just a huge fan base for Street Fighter and Darkstalkers, though. And it's interesting because with Street Fighter, at least there are games that are coming out. I mean, we're getting Street Fighter Five. I'm so out of the loop because I haven't even played the last DLC of Four, and I haven't even touched Five. I just saw Cammy's new costume, and let's just say I can't wait for the art book. But with Darkstalkers, Darkstalkers really surprises me how much of a fan base it has because. There really hasn't been a new game since the Dark, uh, what was it, the Vampire Savior, the third update to that. I think there's just been updated new graphics for it, but there really hasn't been a new game. Now, what you have here are variant covers for some of the Street Fighter comics. So, uh, if you're familiar with my channel, actually, let's look over here. This is where I have my... I love these books. They're some of my favorites. As a matter of fact, there's always room for more next to the Transformers. But those are the collections of the comics. So a lot of this stuff has been previously collected in those particular books. I did do an overview of those books, um, I think about a year or so ago. Maybe 
maybe it was two years ago. Do you recognize this piece of art right here? Who the artist is? Uh, okay, it does say who it is, but do you know who this artist is? Yasuhiro Naito. No. He is the gentleman that drew Trigon, the manga. Oh. And of course, the Trigon inspired the anime. And now we've got a new Trigon anime. There are some wonderful variant covers, but since we've seen a lot of those, let's keep going here. This particular book has 320 pages. So there is a lot of Street Fighter. Most of it done in splash page like this. These are posters right here by Alvin Lee. So you have several artists that you saw at the beginning. You saw how many different artists there are. But what do you enjoy the most, Miss Lydia? Mega Man. Mega Man. And were there particular pieces? Oh, look at Darkstalkers. Beautiful. I think that's Kevin Lau, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Kevin Lau. And it gives credit to the colors because I feel like the colorist really, really helps this art pop out, right? Like, that looks like a piece of animation. Is there anything else that you enjoy besides Mega Man through here? Just make up something. I like the Darkstalker character designs. Yes. Who's your favorite Darkstalker character? I Is guess that... Morgan because yes, she's Morgan. pretty. Because she's pretty? Uh, your father would agree with that. There's rival schools. This was a lot of fun. This is a series, I think, that only had two games. Yeah, two games. Uh, this is Sakura makes an appearance in this one. But it's just kids in high school, different types of kids from different clubs that are fighting. It was a lot of fun. It was released on the PlayStation. Maybe it was three games because there was also one on the Dreamcast, if I'm not mistaken. It was, of course, a arcade game, which a lot of Capcom games started as arcades. So there's Joe Mad right there representing resident evil there's some devil may cry so towards the end is where you're going to see a lot of different type of capcom characters like wood that guy man. woodman tron bond who had her own game do you know who that is no that's maximo he's the successor to the ghost and goblins arthur rival schools versus street fighter oh power stone it's always ha i'm i'm always surprised that people still remember power stone i think we're getting a power stone collection if i'm not mistaken Unless it's out. Here are some character endings, which we won't go over because that will spoil things. And this is the art process. It's really cool. And we're going to talk about the build of the books here in a little bit. And other art books from Udon. Let's keep going. Do you know who some of these characters are? Like John Talbain? Uh, I know. Juri Sakura. Oh, well, that's it. Juri Sakura? I think that's the guy. Like, John Talbain. Yeah, is that he from Darkstalkers? Like, with yeah, the he's little, from Darkstalkers. Uh, with the little red writing mm -hmm. girl. Uh, that is, that's beautiful, Joe. <laughs> Henshin a go go, baby. So could have, like teacher, right? <laughs> Dan, yes, that's Dimitri from Night Stalkers. Sasquatch, Rival Schools. All right, moving on to Volume Two. We have some representation of Final Fight, some Dark Stalkers again, Street Fighter, beautiful Joe, Knights of the Round. There's some classic stuff. Again, there is your forward and your. A table of contents and here's your contributing artist and you get an array of just different artists in here there are some phenomenal breakout artists that just came uh, from I believe they found them on DeviantArt and they just uh, started working for Udon which is great and these are just different types of Street Fighter characters that is Maki right there Rolento from Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 4, Rainbow Mika. There's some Street Fighter Alpha. Not a lot of Street Fighter EX, but there is some. There's some Darkstalkers. There's the man. Do you know who that is? No. Strider. Oh. Strider. That's right. And how much does your father like this character? He named our dog after him. Well, yes, yes. Strider Ryu Valdivieso is his full name, but... Basically because of that and Lord of the Rings. But, oh my gosh, he's such an awesome character. Do you know who that is? No. <laughs> what? That is Akuma. In the, I think the J Japanese Street Fighter, he's known as uh, Goki. So it's a little bit different. Fei Long, who was of course a take on Bruce Lee. So these are the sprites that they redrew for the HD version of Super Street Fighter 2. Oh my gosh, that game took forever. I love Udon, but there have been so many delays here. Let's skip a little bit and go to the character sketches and stuff like that. Is this the stuff that you like looking at too? 
Yeah, I like sketchbooks. You do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to see things when they're just penciled art. And you get a little bit of color, so that's cool. This one also has 320 pages. And these are the different Street Fighter books you can get. We've done an overview of Mega Man I art love books. Mega Man. Yes, I know. That's where Mega Man fans can go and find their Mega Man art. And then Udon's art off with Dan and beautiful Joe right there. All right, last book. Last book. And who do we have on the cover here, Miss Lydia? Mega Man. And roll. And roll. So rock and Morgan. roll. Morgan, that's right. Do you recognize anybody else? Isn't her name Karen? Yeah. What about this guy? Do you know his name? Um, Blanca. That's right. What about this young lady? I'm not going to quiz you on all of these. I'm sorry. Uh, this young lady, do you know her name from Darkstalkers? No, but I think she's cool. She is cool. She's a... Jiangxi. She's... Is that what they're called? I think so. Yeah, Jap or Chinese uh, vampires? Ghosts? They have to hop because the ground's too hot? Okay, we won't quiz you. This is really cool. I don't know if you and your sister noticed this. So you know how it's broken up in the table of contents here? Yeah. What's really cool, see the orange, blue, yeah, and red? Yeah, on the side, it has the colors. So you can see how much Street Fighter there is, how much Darks... What's red? Darkstalkers, I think, and then everything else is uh, red, if I'm not mistaken. But that is a lot. World of Capcom, and then Game Projects. So a lot of Street Fighter. A lot of Street Fighter. Oh, including these homage. Come on, we gotta talk about these. These are so freaking cool. There's Secret Wars homage covers. Now, the only thing that I think that they should have done here is actually given credit to the original artist. I know that, you know, it, it, it's not the original artist. For example, this right here is drawn by Edwin Huang. But With Joshua I, Paris. Thank you. That is very important, the colors. But I wish they had given credit to Joe Mad. But he does here. And each one of the artists, I think, does, like, after uh, Mike Zack, after Joe Mad. Uh, this is, I believe, let's see, after Charlie Adler, right there. So they do put them there. I oh, love that. That's after Kelly Jones. But yeah, they're a take on, of course, the Western comics where it's Wildcats. That's actually not a Western comic. That's actually the Street Fighter movie poster. X-Men 2099, She-Hulk. I think those are great. But again, a lot of Street Fighter. And then you get the... Yes, the yeah. world. All right, let's talk about some of these, Miss Lydia, since I've been talking a lot. Well, and I'll talk about the build. Sh uh, tell me a little bit about these characters. Who are these characters? Okay, Mega Man, Skull Man, Heat Man, Quick Man, Night Man, Crash Man, Air Man, Bomb Man, Guts Man, Cut Man, Snake Man, and Luck Man. And what Mega Man game are they from? Okay. Mega Man 1, Mega Man 3, Mega Man 1, Mega Man 1, Mega Man 1, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 6, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 4, and then, you know, he's from all the games. I may, it makes me happy to see these characters here, because what Mega Man are they from? Okay, so that's Shade Man from 7, Tango Man from 8, uh, Magma Man from 9, Nitro Man from 10, Blade Man from 10, Astro Man from 8, Slash Man from 7, and Splash Woman from uh, 9. Oh, I thought that was Galaxy Man. Galaxy Man's from 9. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, boss. <laughs> <laughs> What's this concrete man? Right? No, it's block man. Block. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of the loop on these. I've only beaten those nine and eight, nine. No, nine and ten. I think I've only beaten once. Eight, I've beaten a couple times on the Sega Saturn. Look at that. That homage to Days of Future Past. I love that. It's all Mega Man One characters here. I love the. Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's the original Mega Man Two cover. For the American release. For the American like, release, but it's... They don't look anything like themselves, basically. <laughs> no, Mega Man's holding a gun. These are very cool. Beautiful pieces of art. Then we have some Darkstalkers. A couple more Street Fighter crossovers with Darkstalkers. And then the Game Projects section. It's actually like the behind the scenes and character sprites sometimes. Character designs for the different outfits, like... For example, those are Street Fighter 4, if I'm not mistaken. And then other books. Now, each of these books... Each of these books has some binding and is also printed on, like, thick, glossy paper. That's right, and there's that eye, so it lays over like this, so you don't really experience gutter loss. So, when it lays over towards the front like this, and the back like this. But, that, as they say... Is that 
Bingo, kid. If you're interested in any of these books, check out our sponsor. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and build of these books. Let us know in the comments down below if you own any of these, what your favorite Capcom game was, whether it was a fighting game or a beat-em-up. Who's your favorite character? And if you do own any of these, who's your favorite artist? It's a good question, Miss Lydia. But that's it for us. Please don't forget to smash that like button on the way out and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Stay minty. And much love.